Have you ever wanted to play Fortnite, Elden Ring, or your favorite video game on your 3DS or 2DS? Well, have I got something for you. Let me introduce you to Pinbox, a direct link from the PC to your 3DS device. I've been fooling the internet for a couple weeks by showing gameplay footage from my 2DS of games that would otherwise be impossible to run on the machine. Some people claimed I was editing footage, while others said it was casting or playing a video on the device. While, in a way, Pinbox does cast your computer to your device, there is a little more nuance to how it works. More specifically, there is a Pinbox server that aids in casting the image to the Pinbox app. Pinbox also turns your device into a controller, so then you can use it to navigate and play said games. Stay until the end to see how far we can stretch Pinbox. Disclaimer, before we get into the tutorial, there are a couple of things you should know. A lot of my knowledge of Pinbox comes from personal experience, and I'm aware that this is an app that seems to yield several different results depending on the user. Pinbox is also an app that is not being supported. There actually has not been an update since 2018. So the builds that we have on the site and the limited forms are what we have to work with. That is another reason why I'm putting out this video. I've solved a couple of the problems I've seen go unanswered regarding running the app, but unfortunately I've been unable to solve the drifting C-stick issue. On the bright side, you may not experience this issue. Why? I have no clue. I really don't. I've been trying to figure it out and I just can't. So let's get into the tutorial. I will be showing first how to install the latest build of Pinbox. However, in my experience, I have been unable to get the app to work in this state due to a lost frames issue, which renders the experience unplayable. Like I mentioned with the drifting C-stick issue, this also seems to be a problem that varies upon user experience. So please, follow the first guide, and if you wind up with the same issue as me, continue to the second guide, which seems to make things playable. One more thing. These tutorials also work for the oldest version of the 3DS to the newest version of the 2DS XL. Every single 2DS and 3DS is supported. First, make sure you have downloaded the following. The latest Visual C++, the Xbox 360's Accessory Software 1.2, and the Virtual Pad Emulation Framework. These are all essential and of course, the links are in the description. Additionally, here are some notes that are important for the latest update. 1. Make sure you enable the firewall to allow port 1234 in and out or just disable the firewall when using the software and enable the firewall when it's done. I was able to skip this step, but you know, this may be an issue for some people, so just go ahead and do it. Also, make sure your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. For example, my Wi-Fi network is split into two, a regular and a 2.4 gigahertz. So just make sure you use the same one. Once you have finished these steps, download the latest build from the link in the description. That should be R.0.2.4 test one. Download the pinbox underscore HB and the pinbox underscore server. Go ahead and unzip those into their own folders. Drag everything from the HB folder into your 3DS folder on the root of your DS. Then go into your server folder and open up server.cfg. Change the monitor index to zero. This basically means that it is going to choose the main monitor on your PC if you have multiple active. Always keep this at zero because it tends to be buggy otherwise. Then change the FPS to 30. It's not like you're going to be getting 60 anyways. Run the pinbox server.exe. You should see x360 connected successfully and x360 added virtual x360 device successfully. If you do not, you have an issue regarding the files we have downloaded in the beginning. If not, turn on your 3DS and navigate to the homebrew launcher and you should see Pinbox. Open the app. Enter the IP listed on the Pinbox test server and click start. You do not need to enter semicolon 1234 after the IP on this version. Now, if you do not see any error codes, you are the lucky few. However, if you are like me and you receive the error, SWScaler at, and then a string of numbers, warning data is not aligned. This can lead to speed loss. You will notice that you are running at a smooth one frame per minute. It is unplayable and I've scoured the internet for answers to no avail. There is not a fix that I'm aware of, and trust me, I have read every forum available and watched every YouTube video, and I've spent the better half of a month toggling between devices and Wi-Fi networks and settings and setup files and System32 files and even monitors. There is no fix besides downgrading to the earliest version. Luckily enough, this video is only possible because I went in and tried every version of Pinbox. I was only able, in my case, to get the error to stop upon using the earliest version. If this does not fix things for you, I am terribly sorry. I have no other answers. The tutorial is mostly the same. You do not need to download different setup files. Download the first version of Pinbox, listed as minor patch, pre-release, and the version R0.1.1. 
Set up everything the same as earlier with the pinbox files in the 3ds folder and the server.cfg settings the same. Make sure you also have removed the first version you downloaded from the 3ds folder. Then, when entering your IP into the pinbox, now add the semicolon 1234. This is now necessary. Boom, you should now be in business, <laughs> except you might have a C-stick drift, which I've attempted to fix following the tutorials in the comments section of another pinbox tutorial video. But alas, it did not work for me. It might work for you, however. I don't know, it seems to vary based on user, on Wi-Fi, on the stars aligning, on the moon being in the right phase. I don't know. Every time I look on the internet, I get different answers and I'm never able to find anything consistent. And if you were expecting a stupid little app that's supposed to replicate the PC onto your 2DS to work properly and to be updated, uh, you're out of luck, man. But that doesn't mean we can't stress test it. The C-Stick Drift doesn't bother me that much because I don't see myself using Penbox legitimately other than for videos. But what else can we play other than PC games? Well, it's obvious that we can emulate anything on the PC since the 3DS is mimicking an Xbox controller, and most emulators accept Xbox controller inputs. However, what about a Nintendo Switch? I plugged in my Switch to my PC and streamed the output with a capture card. I chose this over emulating a Switch for many reasons. For one, I get to use actual hardware. And two, I get to do this. Oh yeah, the Switch DS. DS Switch? It's truly magical, whatever it is. And as soon as the idea popped in my head, I had to do it. So that works, but what about VR? I received many requests to play VR games on the 2DS, but I wasn't sure how I was going to make it work for the video. I thought I could load a VR game from my PC and plug in my Quest, but why would I want less latency? So I decided to stream my headset to the PC and then stream the PC footage to my DS so I could at least have someone else view what I'm doing in VR on the DS. And that's a pretty comprehensive look at Pinbox. For such an old and decommissioned app, it has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, it's likely to fade away as it is very clunky, impractical, and buggy in its current state. I would like to see an alternative pop up in the future as the 3DS rises in popularity. I know of one app called TinyVNC, but that deserves its own video as it's a little different and it doesn't work as well as Pinbox. And that's saying a lot. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.